Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. I ordered today and I had two questions about them. Okay. Um, on one of my doors, when I close the door, there's maybe three six eighths of an inch underneath the door on one side, the other side is five eighths. And I think you mentioned I might have to do some adjustment. Um, my question is, I'm looking at the surface mounted. Would I just raise up the whole thing and not flush it with the bottom? I think you would kind of want to try to make it parallel to the floor uh, to account for that scenario, but only on the one where the gap is largest on the hinge side. Ah, okay, hold on. Becky, put that down, please. Um, you know what, on the one on the inside, it really is almost very much the same left or right. Okay. Um, the one where it's almost nothing on the inside is the one that has the big gap on the other side. Okay. So the one with the... So the one, the one that has the almost nothing on the inside hinge side, you would still mount that flush with the bottom? I would probably, if you're going from an eighth to five eighths, I would probably tip it a bit towards the lock side so that you did not have to, um, have such a difference in the drop bar length. I would tip that down probably a quarter inch to even that out a little bit. Okay. Um, my, which that might ac actually go with what my second question is. Um, okay, hold on. Jackie, stop. Stop now. Um, so I'm looking at the different colors of this, and the bottom line is I want white. Um, so my understanding is these are anodized aluminum, which is great for painting. Um, are they are they smooth? The size of them, or are they like ribbed? Uh, smooth. I, They're I smooth. Don't agree with, I don't agree with your statement about it being perfect for painting. You and I have discussed that in the past. You yes. have said that you've had success doing it in the past. I've said I have not found similar success, uh, but you had said I'm okay. You are okay with proceeding with well, painting. I haven't, usually, like when I've painted plain aluminum, which is all I've ever painted is regular aluminum. You have to have a special primer because there's something in the aluminum that messes it up. But the anodized aluminum is supposed to not have that. So when I look that up, it just says that's a simple, you use a really good primer and then paint. You're talking about something I don't have actual experience with. Okay. Um, if you know that it will work, then I will have to defer to your experience and knowledge. You know what, if it doesn't work, the worst that's going to happen is it's going to flake and I'll repaint it. Um, I was just wondering if you'd had anybody who had told you they had painted or not. Um, I've painted aluminum myself in the past and it's, you know, it's, you know, um, I have gone over it with a clear lacquer, but, yes, uh, you know, not having contact with it is the key. And being a door bottom, I don't expect there's going to be any, there'll be zero intentional contact. I don't think you should be kicking on it. Um, of course, I have a four-year-old here. That could mean anything. Who knows? Um, but I'm trying to, uh, you know, if I'm going to have to tip this a little bit and I'm getting something like the dark bronze, it's going to look crappy. It's going to look crooked. And what we've tried to do is, despite crooked ceilings and floors, we've tried to, I mean, the doors are straight. The door frames are straight. We've tried to visually minimize the crookedness. And if I slap on a door bottom and that's crooked, it's going to look really strange. Um, I might get away with it a little more if it's white. That's what I'm thinking. Um, okay, so the measurement I just want to confirm I'm giving you is between the door stops minus one eighth. Exactly. And all I'm measuring is the bottom between the door stops. I'm not measuring anywhere else on anything, right? Agreed. Okay. Perfect. So um, I will send in my order today. Um, my name is Beverly. If you 
you know, I think when I talked to you last week, I was like, the price difference is so big, and it was because I was looking at the dark bronze. And that seems for a price difference. Yeah, that seems to be a really big price difference. So since I'm going to paint, I'm going to get the. It's a 365 AA, correct? Is aluminum? Uh, clear and dice, yes, ma'am. And that that is the uh, soundproofing, the best soundproofing one you have. It really is. That's the one that you're going to see used in those applications where sound transmission control assemblies are required. Awesome. I will send this in a little later today. If you have any questions, just uh, call back or email. Indeed. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Sure thing. Bye-bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program.